The most common reason why an adolescent gets a, an ACL tear is during ball sports, right? So that would be soccer most commonly, but also lacrosse players, basketball players. It's stopping and going quickly. It's more of the cutting activities and the side to side lateral motion, right? It's, it's kind of the plant and twist. And then for the age group, it has more to do with where they're at in terms of kinematics and muscular strength and growing into their bodies uh, and whether or not their knee can, can handle some of those motions. And that ACL that is torn typically gets removed and then we replace that with a, a graft. In the past, we used to use hamstring a lot more often and what we've found is that the tissue quality is a little bit better with the quadriceps graft. It's a little bit more consistent. Um, the re-rupture rates are lower uh, and they tend to rehab quicker in terms of explosive activities. I think rehab is twice as important as what I do on the day of surgery. And mainly because I can give you a, a stable ACL and I can put it in the right position and we can get a high quality graft, but I can't make you get that muscular strength back. I can't make you get the control of your knee back. PT really should be part of the process until nine months at a minimum. And then beyond that, I typically recommend that they see at least somebody every six months, you know, for a couple years afterwards to make sure they're doing the things to keep their knee strong and their knee healthy. Uh, and the reason for that is re-rupture rates in the adolescent population are higher than the, than the general population, substantially. I mean, I think the most common question or concern I hear from parents is, you know, will my kid get back to activity? Uh, and I would say, yes, they will get back to some form of activity, 100%. The most important thing is that we give them a knee that's gonna be strong and healthy and last for a long time without wearing out.